we shall launch our initial data form. It will take us to a survey form where we'll be able to put in our data. We shall choose the lead implementing partner, the county of community, its particular district, and the clan that is being supported. We will input the name of the community, but it is good to note that the name will only be put as one. We'll give the name and last name of the organization focal point for lead partner and go ahead and put his or her phone number. Then we shall put in whether it's being supported or not. We'll then put the project title, the project funder, when the project was started, the anticipated date when the project will end, the primary grantee name, and also the implementing partner or partners. Here we can be able to choose more than one. We shall then move on to the next. We'll put in the community population details and then we shall put the total number and also put that of the female community members and that of the male. We shall put the area boundary in hectares and on our map we'll be able to search for the particular county, clan or district name. We shall then put the address there. On searching it can it will bring up the name we are interested in and then zoom to that particular area. We shall then draw a polygon. Here it will be able to give us a area and a perimeter. On answering that the question we can be able to access our files in our local disk and also answer how the boundary was captured. We shall choose the livelihood and then go to the community leader details where we can choose the gender, input the community leaders last name and first, then go ahead choose her role and also input her contact information. We'll also be able to add another community leader if there's more than one. And that will prompt another selection. We shall put in the gender, the leader's given and last name, his, her, his or her role, and also his contact information. On doing so, we can move to the next page. We shall choose the community intervention status, when it was completed, and then we can go on and put the anticipated date of the current And also the confirmatory. Here we'll select our challenges that are unique to the project. It will be a yes or no question. And also choose the various challenges solved from the previous the previous requests and also any support if it's needed and then submit the data. That's all. Thank you.